Hello! Welcome to Technic Force Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a webinar. Let's begin. First, log in to your Webinar Loop 2 installation. And when you're in, you'll see your dashboard right away. Now, if you want to set up your profile, go to the top right corner of the screen and select the drop down menu. You'll have the profile and logout button. So select profile. Right here is where you can customize your profile name, email address, contact number, and profile description. Just click on the edit button if you want to make some changes. You can also change your password from here. And if you want to upgrade your package level, just click on this button. And down here, you can update your time zone. By scrolling down, you'll see which webinar you're listed as a presenter on as Webinar Loop 2 supports multiple presenters per webinar. Next, you might want to go to the Settings tab. If you click on it, you'll see SMTP Setup and Twilio Settings. First, let's look at SMTP Setup. At SMTP Setup, you'll see all the server details listed below if you have any. And on Twilio Settings, it's the same. You'll see the name, phone number, and actions. You can manage your Twilio numbers from here. SMTP is for your email follow-up, and Twilio is for your SMS follow-up. And if you click on Autoresponder, right here is where you can see and manage your autoresponders. You'll see the logos, account, names, list count, and actions. And if you want to add an autoresponder, just click on this button. Then select the autoresponder you want to add. As you can see, Webinar Loop supports multiple autoresponders, so you can add whichever you want. Then, on webinars, is where your webinars are listed and you can manage. As of now, we haven't created a webinar yet. And to create one, just click on Create Webinar button. Now, add in your webinar title. Let me name it First Webinar. Then, enter in the webinar subdomain. Then, click on Check to see if this webinar subdomain is still available. And if it's available, you'll see the green check mark. And if it's not, you'll see the red X mark. And it will notify you that this subdomain already exists. After that, add in your webinar description. Then click on Create Webinar. Now that we have created our webinar, our subdomain will be reserved. And right on this page is where you can edit your subdomain name, title, and description if you want to make changes. You can also set the webinar language and the webinar type. You can choose between live, where your webinar can broadcast to YouTube live, or scheduled, which will broadcast your webinar at a specific date and time or on-demand, which can be viewed anytime by the viewers. You can also select an access type if you want it open or with a password. You can also select the status of your webinar from Enable or Disable. And you can also upload a custom logo as well. Just click on this button. And after that's done, just click on Save. Now, if you scroll to the top, you'll see a pending notice. If you click on it, Webinar Loop shows us the steps that are still pending before our webinar setup is complete. So as you can see, first thing we have completed are the details, and next are the videos, schedules, presenters, and the layout before it's set up. Now that we are done with the details, next on the checklist is the videos. So on the sidebar section, click on Videos. And you'll notice on the checklist, the Details tab turn light color. It means it's completed. So now here on the Videos tab, here is where you can set up your webinar video. Please provide a URL of the video you want to use as the main video for the webinar. Please take note that Webinar Loop supports YouTube, Vimeo, Vistra, Dailymotion, or Direct MP4 link. Just choose the platform. Then add in the video URL. Enter in the video length and 
click on Save. And your webinar video updated successfully. Now if you click on the pending again, you'll see that details and videos are now completed. And that is how easy it is to create a webinar on Webinar Loop 2. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.